meaningful use, what it means for the doctor. This presentation has been brought to you by the Biopharma Institute Meaningful Use. Background, established by the Center for Medicare and Medicaid Services, CMS. This is the term used to describe the guidelines medical doctors, for example, providers, must achieve in order to receive federal incentive bonus payments and avoid future penalties. 15 core objectives. 10 electives, of which 5 must be completed. Some exceptions allowed. EPs which fall into the exceptions category do not need to accomplish that objective. If the exception falls within the core objectives, then the EP will only need to accomplish 14 of the 15 objectives. If the exception falls within the elective objectives, then the EP will only have to achieve 4 of the 9 remaining electives. Meaningful use. Timeline. The first year of MU compliance. For a 90-day consecutive period and doctors must fulfill the 15 core requirements in 5 of the 10 electives to receive bonus payments. The second year of MU compliance, the whole year must be used in the measure incentives and penalties. Meaningful use. Core 1, final rule. More than 30% of unique patients with at least one medication in their medication list seen by the EP have at least one medication order entered using CPOE. Exception. EPs who order less than 100 medications during the EHR reporting periods. Meaningful use. Core 2. Final rule. Implement drug drug and drug allergy interaction checks has been implemented. Exception. None. Meaningful use. Core 3. Final rule. More than 80% of all unique patients seen by the EP have at least one entry or an indication that no problems are known for the patient recorded as structured data. Exception. None. Meaningful use. Core 4. Final rule. More than 40% of all permissible prescriptions written by the EP are transmitted electronically using certified EHR technology. Exception. EPs who order less than 100 medications during the EHR reporting periods. Meaningful use. Core 5. Final rule. More than 80% of all unique patients seen by the EP have at least one entry or an indication that the patient is not currently prescribed any medication, recorded as structured data, exception, none, meaningful use. Core 6, final rule, more than 80% of all unique patients seen by the EP have at least one entry, or an indication that the patient has no known medication allergies, recorded as structured data, exception, none, meaningful use. Core 7, final rule. More than 50% of all unique patients seen by the EP are admitted to the eligible hospitals or CAHs in patient or emergency department, POS 21 or 23, have demographics recorded as structured data, exception, none, meaningful use, core 8, final rule, for more than 50% of all unique patients age 2 and over seen by the EP are admitted to eligible hospitals or CAHs in patient or emergency department. POS 21 or 23, height, weight and blood pressure are recorded as structured data, exception, EPs who see no patients age 2 or over or who believe e that the vital signs have no relevance on their scope of practice. Meaningful use. Core 9. Final rule. More than 50% of all unique patients 13 years old or older seen by the EP are admitted to the eligible hospitals or CAHs in patient or emergency department. POS 21 or 23. Have smoking status recorded as structured data, exception, EP that sees no patients 13 years old or older during the EHR reporting period. Meaningful use. Core 10. Final rule. For 2011, provide aggregate numerator and denominator through attestation as discussed in Section 2, A, 3, of this proposed rule for 2012. Electronically submit the measures as discussed in Section 2, A, 3, of this proposed rule. Exception, to be determined meaningful use. Core 11, final rule, implement one clinical decision support rule relevant to specialty or high clinical priority along with the ability to track compliance that rule. Exception, none, meaningful use. Core 12, final rule, more than 50% of all patients who request an electronic copy of their health information are provided it within three business days. Exception, EPs who receive no requests during the EHR reporting period. Meaningful use. Core 13, final rule. Clinical summaries provided to patients for more than 50% of all office visits within three business days or emergency department. 
POS 21 or 23, have at least one medication order entered using CPOE, exception, EPs who have no office visits during the EHR reporting period meaningful use, Core 14, Final Rule. Performed at least one test of certified EHR technology's capacity to electronically exchange key clinical information, exception, none, meaningful use, core 15, final rule, conduct or review a security risk analysis per 45 CFR 164.308, a, 1, and implement security updates as necessary and correct identified security deficiencies as part of its risk management process, exception, none, thank you. For more information, visit Biopharma Institute.